Compared to most birds that we see around the Susquehanna Valley, the wild turkey is enormous. And they're showing up more often in some rather surprising places. News 8's Jack Hubley has more on that in tonight's Wild Moment. The wild turkey, iconic resident of Penn's Woods. If you're a hunter, you just might be getting ready for spring gobbler season, which isn't far away. Turns out, neither are the turkeys. These wild turkeys were in Jeff Bevenauer's backyard near York. He writes, We've recently been seeing some turkeys near our house. We were wondering if they were really wild turkeys or some that got away from a farm. Jeff, there was a time when a wild turkey was a rare sight in your neck of the woods, but all that has changed here in the Susquehanna Valley. Yes, those turkeys in your yard could very well be wild or not. Free-roaming, wild-looking turkeys could be escapees from captive flocks. Or they could be truly wild, descendants of trap and transfer programs conducted here in the southeast by the Game Commission and the National Wild Turkey Federation. I shot this video in southern Lancaster County back in the 1990s. Whatever their origin, wild turkeys are adaptable birds that have managed to reclaim much of the real estate where they roamed in pre-colonial times. The fact that we humans have taken over doesn't seem to bother them all that much. Of course, that adaptability can get them in trouble in wooded suburbia where residents take a dim view of big birds whitewashing their driveways and decks. Turkey lovers, be advised that feeding these flocks can strain relations with neighbors who aren't wild about poop on the roof or turkeys tilling their flower beds. According to your letter, though, Jeff, your grandson Rowdy doesn't care about such things and really enjoys turkey watching. Good for him. I'm Jack Hubley, News 8. <laughs> And the Easter wild turkey is one of the largest flying birds in the world. Males can weigh 25 pounds or more. If you have a wildlife question for Jack, just email it to news8 at wgal.com and you may see the answer on the air.